Do you ever wish you could just get away from it all? Well then you should take a trip to one of these buildings. These are the most remote and isolated buildings on the world, far away from any civilization. Some of these are difficult and even impossible to get to, and some are very secretive, only known to a few people. Sphinx Observatory, Switzerland this observatory is located in the Swiss Alps. Many don't see this as no one goes anywhere near these Alps, but even the brave hikers that do sometimes miss it. That's because it was designed to blend in with the rocks of the mountains. It's a massive 3,571 meters above sea level, and it is the highest constructed building in Europe. The building was only made possible after a 20-year mission to get up to the Alps. Europe's highest railway station was then built on top of these Alps. This allowed them to transport builders and building materials to make this place. And it serves a pretty amazing purpose. It's one of the best observatories we have in the world. It's used for research on astronomy, meteorology, and glaciology. To get there, you need to get a train from Zhang Faochoch Rail Station, and then after that you need to get on an elevator shaft through the mountain. The final stretch is a hike up to the observatory. This place is so remote and high up that many call it the top of Europe. Tais Rabat, Kyrgyzstan some say that this is one of the oldest hotels in the world. It's known as a caravan saray. This means a rest stop for people traveling long ways. It used to be used by traders who were traveling along the Silk Road. For many centuries, this was the main route of commerce between Europe and Asia. It's far away from anything in Kyrgyzstan's Narin province. People making the journey between the two continents would sleep here for a few days rest. The entire building is made from crushed rock and clay. But the inside of the buildings is very impressive with dome-shaped roofs. Today it's not used for anything. After the Silk Road ceased to be used, this place was abandoned. But if you do want to travel here, you can do so. You'll need to go on horseback and it may take many days. You can no longer sleep inside Tash Rabat, but nearby there are some traditional yurts you can sleep in. ESO Hotel, Chile You may think that there's nothing in Chile's Atacama Desert. That is mostly the case, except for one large hotel. You may recognize this building, and that's because it was featured in the James Bond movie Quantum of Solace. Now, you may be thinking, who on earth would stay in a hotel located in a desert? Well, the answer is not tourists. In fact, if you want to book a room at this hotel, you'll be sorely disappointed. The hotel is only used for workers of the European Southern Observatory. If you saw this building from afar, you may well miss it. That's because it's built into the desert like camouflage. This is to minimize the visual impact on the surroundings as Chile prohibits building in the desert. Only the central dome garden is visible on the horizon. The hotel has 108 rooms. There are also 18 offices. There's also gardens, a swimming pool, a library, and a sauna. Some even nicknamed the hotel the Oasis for astronomers. It's at an altitude of 2,400 meters and there's almost zero rainfall every year. That's why large vehicles bring gigantic tankers of water to the construction every year. Without it, it would not remain functional, and showers and drinking water would not work. The building is dyed red to blend in with the desert sand. But this also provides a thermal mass. This helps to regulate the internal climate inside the building. Katsky Pillar, Georgia Katsky Pillar is located in the country of Georgia. The unbelievable building is a church dedicated to Saint Maximus. It sits at a height of 130 feet. Inside the church is a crypt and a wine cellar. Amazingly, this church is fairly new. It was built after researchers climbed the pillar in 1944, and the church was then restored from 2005 to 2009. From the church, you get amazing views of the surroundings. That is, the amazing vegetation growing on the mountains surrounding it. Bjork's Island, Iceland Everyone knows the singer Bjork. She is likely the most famous celebrity to come out of Iceland, and that's why the country of Iceland gave her her own island. This is called Illeri Island. The 110-acre island is located in the middle of nowhere. It's found south of Iceland in the Atlantic Ocean. On it is just one large white house. Five families inhabited the island roughly 300 years ago, and the single house which remains on the island was built as a lodge for puffin hunters. 
Strangely, the house is surrounded by a fence, but something tells me no one's going anywhere near this place. There is nothing on the island, and you'd need to use a boat to get to it. Because of its bizarre shape, even a helicopter could not be used. It's also pretty uninhabitable, as it's filled with gigantic, jagged, sharp rocks. Halley 6 Research Station, Antarctica this research station is used by the British Antarctic Survey. It's the sixth research station. All of the other ones were naturally destroyed by the harsh climate. The base is designed to react to the very hostile and ever-changing Antarctic environment. This means the isolated structure should survive for a long time. The base is several pods in a straight line. This is to prevent any winds from blowing it over. It also causes any snow to drift off to the side. All of these pods are built on large steel skis. These are on hydraulic legs which raise and decrease as the snow levels do. But the entire base itself is built on the Brunt Ice Shelf. This is a moving 150 meter thick slab of ice. This means the Halley base is moving closer and closer to the sea every moment. It would be impossible to build this in Antarctica. That's why these were assembled in South Africa and then shipped to Antarctica. Chess Pavilion, China Chess Pavilion is far away from anything above the clouds of China. It's located on Mount Hua. This is said to be one of the scariest hikes in the world. But if you make it up here, you get an amazing view from this pavilion. It's located 2,154 meters up in the sky. This means you literally have to get up above the clouds to be here. But based on the images, the view you're rewarded with is well worth it. Bishop Rock Lighthouse, UK This lighthouse in the UK is 70 kilometers from the closest town. It was built in the 19th century after many shipwrecks in the area, and it was used by ships going between Britain and North America. The structure was built using granite which had to be shipped there. It was very difficult building this large tower on a tiny piece of stone. Staff found it very difficult to get to the lighthouse, and that's why in 1976 a helipad was built on the lighthouse. But since 1992 this lighthouse has been fully automated. Doomsday Vault, Norway the Svalbard Global Seed Vault may be our only hope if the world goes into nuclear war. It stores enough seeds to prevent a regional or global crisis. The facility is nuclear blast proof. It's also 130 meters above sea level. This means it would still be okay if all of the polar ice caps melted. Huang Gongsi, China this place in China is known as the Hanging Temple. It's located on the side of Mount Heng. Beams are embedded in the cliff's bedrock, and the entire thing is said to be made by a single man. I just hope no one drinks too much on this place and falls off. Casa do Penido, Portugal this place in Portugal looks like it was made by a caveman. It translates to the House of Stone. It was built in 1974, but has no electricity. Amazingly, this was made using four boulders which were naturally aligned here. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most amazing building on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.